Hey guys, it's Kiki. Um, I want to thank you first of all for tuning into my channel. Um, if you're new here, hello, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, um, thank you for coming back. Uh, this look I like to call it the neutral ColourPop eye look because I'm using all ColourPop brand and I have that pop of color under my eyes with a neutral um look in the first place um i like to say neutral instead of natural because it's not really that natural looking but um yeah if you want to see how i did this look keep on watching the first thing i start off doing is putting my face powder on my lids over the concealer that i put on just to make it make it match the best the rest of my face better <laughs> Now for my highlight color below my brow, or on my brow bone, I'm going in with Foxy and I believe Booty Call from the Naked 2 palette. I always get mixed up with the Booty Call color. Um, I believe those are the two colors I'm using for my lid. If not, um, it's just the other lighter one, but it's shimmery. Now I'm going in with Millionaire from ColourPop and it is a metallic and it's just this really pretty glittery gold like this is my favorite eyeshadow that they have and I'm just putting this all over the lid kind of shaping out my eye and if you look at it it looks like I put glitter on my eye and then when I'm done with the whole look like even in person it looks like I just slapped on glitter on my lid but it's actually an eyeshadow that's why I love it because I hate working with glitter they just get all over the place and I can never find the right adhesive for it that doesn't cost like a lot of money so yeah millionaire is the best like alternative for you not using glitter make sure you spread millionaire into your bottom inner corners it just makes it opens up your eyes a lot of people don't understand it but it really does work now I'm using happy hour from ColourPop and this is actually a contour powder and it is matte and um, I'm just putting that into my crease um, I like to use it as a transitional color. This is not the actual like crease color that it's going to be. But um, yeah, just, you know, windshield wiper motions. Just blend it all into your crease. Yeah. This next color is called Hustle by ColourPop. It is like a brick red with like kind of a purple undertone. It is a matte and I'm actually taking this on my finger which I think all ColourPop shadows and everything work better with your finger. I'm taking that and I'm putting it over um, Happy Hour just to have everything blended and nice. And also too doing this with my finger kind of blends out that millionaire so it's not so harsh. Now I'm taking Wet n Wild's H2O Proof um, Liquid Eyeliner. And a lot of people notice that my brush is not actually the brush that comes with the H2O. The H2O comes with like a stiff marker type brush. What I do is I buy both of them and I switch the brushes and I keep the Mega Liner for when I run out of the H2O. And I really only like to use the H2O in the summertime because you know you sweat and your eyeliner runs. But um, yeah, I just switched the brushes from the Mega Liner into the H2O and you should be perfectly fine. I'm doing a thin wing liner. I usually don't do my wing liner this thin, but for more for like natural looks and stuff, I just do, I just do it pretty thin. I'm taking a traditional lip brush and I put Hustle on it and then I'm putting that on my lower lash line. Um, it looked really pretty like that but actually I ended up putting Ibiza over it and that's why I like to call it a color pop look. Um, that explains the whole um, title of the look. Um, I liked Ibiza over Hustle for the lower lash line because Ibiza is like a really popped out color and I just didn't want my underline that popped out and um, after this it was cut it wasn't in the frame I actually put on black liner only in my waterline didn't smudge it or anything just to darken the look 
first I'm just taking off my chapstick because I like to put on chapstick before I start any type of makeup putting on. So I just took that off. Now I'm lining my lips. Or now I'm lining my lips with ColourPop Dahlia Lip Liner. Um, a lot of people know I'd rather go with a lip liner than a lipstick. Um, it's just my personal choice. But yeah, Dahlia Lip Liner all over the lips. <coughs> Then after that, I'm going to put chapstick on my lips just to, you know, blend it out and make it look more pretty. Then I'm going in with ColourPop's Brink. And it's too light of a color for me, but I like to put it in the middle of any lip liner or any lip color. And it just brings out my lips and makes them pop and excuse the barking. And for mascara, I'm going in with Rimmel Lash Accelerator. Um, this is in black and I just like to put this on my top lashes and my bottom lashes to make them just look pretty. My lashes are very thin and they don't have a curl to them or anything so mascara kind of helps. Alright guys, you guys have reached the end of the video and I just want to say thank you guys for watching the whole video. All my social media, all the links you'll need will be down below. Um, make sure that you guys read the description box because I literally put everything down there, all the links and everything. And I also always put a little thank you note down there. Um, if you guys want to see anything else, just make sure you leave your comments and requests down below. I will be sure to get to those videos. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching so much. Peace, love you guys, bye-bye.